guys, welcome to already day three of our magical adventure. I can't believe we're already halfway there. Yes. If you're unaware, I am doing a bookage challenge every single day for five days, so if you've missed the first two episodes, I highly recommend you check those out first. But before we move on to the third challenge of the week, we are starting with the reading update. Um, because I am just at home all the time, I kind of gave myself permission to buy a new book and treat myself on something new to read. And I was browsing through the bookstore and I didn't have a lot of books that sounded really interesting to me. So I was like, what am I going to read? What am I going to choose? And then I saw this book. The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember when that book came out and I really wanted to read it but also at that point I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna buy it right now because it's 800 pages and back when this book came out I was like, I think I'm gonna wait for the right moment and yesterday, or no, I think it's two days ago already, I saw this book in a bookstore and I was like, that's it. That is the book. This is the right moment. If there's any moment to read a book that's 800 pages, I think it's right now. <laughs> the only thing that I know about this book is that it is a huge, big, chunky fantasy epic story with dragons. I'm really excited. I started reading it and I'm only like 16 pages into it because that's kind of the thing with these huge fantasy stories is that it takes quite a while to get into them because there are just a lot of names and a lot of things going on. I was like, wow, <laughs> 15 pages, that's enough for today. I'm just gonna continue listening to the audiobook of Truly Devious because I'm still reading that one as well. This is also the book that I'm trying to get a big chunk out of during our 24-hour reading party, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the first episode of this where I have an announcement about the readathon that's going to happen this Sunday. All right, that was our little reading update. Let's go to the map of our garden now. Let's open the map. There we go. As you can see, we have arrived at the third cave, so it is time for our third challenge. Let's get our magical flower that right now doesn't really look like a flower anymore because we already took out two of the petals, but each petal has its own little challenge. So now I'm just going to pick which one I want to choose for today. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with this one. Yes. Okay. Let's see what it is. Discover! Ooh, show your favorite book maps. I love that. Let's do that. So, I picked out a few of my favorites. I have like one specific favorite map drawer because a few of these are made by the same person. I actually figured out. But the first one that I want to show is actually in the Priory of the Orange Tree because it has a very extensive map. Look at this. But that's not all. It has a second page <laughs> where there's more of the map. And this beautiful drawing of dragons. I love that. The next one is from the Accord of Thorns and Roses series. It looks like this, but it's especially just this side that I think looks really nice. What I like the most about this one is that it really kind of uses the folklore of the story. It has these little cauldrons in the corner, which like has to do with the, the story. And I don't know why, but I just really like the way that the, the mountains are drawn? I don't know. That's just my preference. So the next one are all by the same illustrator or the same artist. His name is Keith Thompson and he made the Grisha Trilogy map. Here you can see it. In the first book we only had this part in detail but then in the other books it's like huge, this world, because I love mostly that there's like these little drawings of sea monsters. And these monsters, ah, oh, I think it's beautiful. And then we also have a map in Six of Crows. Whoa, well, this video really is a mess. And I specifically really like the one of the ice courts. Look at that detailed drawing of the building. I really like that it still looks kind of 
as if it's just sketched on, as if it's not really finished. And I really like that look. And the same artist also made the map for the Kiss of Deception. Look at this. This one is like full on illustrated with these people back here. So pretty. Oh, yes. And I also know that Keith Thompson made the map for the Children of Blood and Bone, which also has a beautiful map, but I don't physically own the book, so I can't show you here. But just that guy, oh, he makes beautiful things. All right, so those were all the beautiful maps that I really wanted to show you. Yeah, I really hope you had a good time. Let me know what your favorite maps are in the comments, and then I will just see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.